Welcome to another instructional video from OWL, the wise choice in fiber optic test equipment. I'm Professor Jim Powers. Cleaning and inspection of fiber connections is an essential part of any fiber professional's toolkit. Popular cabling standards recommend that fiber connectors and ports should be cleaned and inspected every time a connection is made. This is done to ensure link attenuation and reflectance is kept to a minimum. There are two key issues related to light transmission. The first is attenuation. Debris that is allowed to build up in optical ports and connectors blocks and or deflects light from traveling through the connection, resulting in unwanted link loss. Today's link budgets are tighter than ever and cannot afford to have additional loss caused by obstructions. The second issue is related to reflectance. Built up debris causes a slight air gap between connectors causing a greater amount of light to be reflected back towards the transmitter. This is of special importance to high-powered systems such as telco, broadband, and CATV networks where reflected light could disrupt transmission or, in extreme cases, cause damage to transmitters. Not only are clean connectors and ports critical for successful fiber optic testing and data transmission, clean connections also help to keep equipment and fiber ports in proper working order. Dust, dirt, and debris may transfer from connector to optical port and build up over time. Repeated connector insertions into a dirty port could grind the debris into other connector end faces inside optical ports, causing irreparable damage resulting in costly repairs. The FS400 field microscope has 400 times magnification, is multi-mode and single-mode ready, has an IR filter for eye safety, includes universal caps for 2.5 and 1.25 millimeter ferrules, and also has coaxial illumination. Field scopes like the FS400 include an IR filter which provides some eye protection, but it is always a good practice to never look into a field scope without first verifying that the fiber being inspected is completely disconnected from any optical source. Do not turn the focus wheel too far in either direction. Doing so could damage the internal gearing inside the unit, causing the unit to be unable to focus. Five to ten turns in either direction should be sufficient for focusing on the connector end face. Scopes damaged from overturning the focus wheel are not covered under warranty. Each scope is tested for proper focus before being shipped. To inspect a connector, first insert the connector into the port. Next, power on the illumination LED by pressing the LED power button. Third, look into the viewfinder. Fourth, turn the focus wheel until the core cladding shows a sharp outline. Check for debris in the core to cladding area. If necessary, clean and re-inspect the connector until the fiber connector is free from debris. Two AAA batteries are required to operate the LED. The battery compartment is located at the bottom of the unit. Simply pull the cover off to expose the battery compartment. Visit OWL's website at owl-inc.com for more information about cleaning and inspection products. This has been another instructional video from OWL the wise choice in fiber optic test equipment. For more information about additional instructional videos or OWL fiber optic test equipment in general, please visit OWL's website at owl-inc.com. I'm Professor Jim Powers. Thanks for watching.